Hi everyone, in this video we will cover how to link a Lyric controller with Apple HomeKit and create scenes with other HomeKit compatible devices. Apple HomeKit can be downloaded from the App Store on your iOS device. Using the search function, type in HomeKit. The icon can be identified by a white background with a yellow house in the middle. The Lyric controller needs to be revision 01.04 or higher to support Apple HomeKit and requires a connection to AlarmNet 360. For the Lyric controller to integrate successfully with HomeKit, both the Lyric controller and the iOS device with the Home app installed must be connected to the same Wi-Fi network. To add a new device into HomeKit, press the plus symbol in the top right then choose Add Accessory. When adding a device to HomeKit, you are presented with several options. By default, it will ask you to scan the HomeKit QR code. For the Lyric controller, choose the option Don't have a code or Can't scan. If the Lyric controller hasn't been previously set up with HomeKit, it will populate in the list on the next screen. Select the option for Lyric AIO and you will be prompted to enter a HomeKit code. The Lyric controller will prompt you for the master code, then populate the HomeKit code. Enter this into the app. Once the last digit is entered, it will start the pairing process, and the Lyric controller will return to the home screen. If the Lyric controller was previously set up with HomeKit, you can reset this by selecting Security, Tools, entering the panel's master code, Advanced, then Reset HomeKit. Once paired, the HomeKit app will take you through the setup process. First, it will ask you to name the Lyric network as a whole. The next steps will walk you through your devices. Pressing Identify Accessory will cause the panel to beep and state the zone descriptor. You can name your zones in HomeKit and choose the room location of the device. The Lyric controller will be identified by a red strobe within the icon. Other than the Lyric controller, the only devices that populate in HomeKit are burglary zones such as door contacts, window contacts, and motion detectors. After configuring your devices as desired and finishing the setup, you can rearrange the icons as needed. Press Edit in the top right, then press and drag the icons to the desired order. Press Done when finished. You can now arm and disarm the Lyric controller through HomeKit by pressing and holding the icon for the Lyric controller. To exit the arming options screen, press anywhere outside of the controls. Our automation device for this video is an Apple HomeKit enabled Honeywell Lyric T5 thermostat, which you can see is also within the app. To create a scene to allow multiple devices to work in tandem, click the plus symbol in the top right of the screen, then choose Add Scene. You can use the suggested scenes or create your own. For this video, we will create a scene for leaving home. Once making the selection, you can add and remove accessories as needed. For me, the Lyric controller was already added to the scene by default, but I also want to add the Lyric T5 thermostat. 
To do this, click Add or Remove Accessories and select the devices for this scene. Press Done once finished. Now that both devices are added, press and hold on the device that should make a change. The Lyric controller is already noted to arm away, so we just need to make a change to the thermostat. Press and hold the thermostat icon. For the thermostat, you are presented with a slider to adjust the temperature. Change this to the desired temperature while away from home, then press anywhere outside of the controls to exit this mode. Once finished, press Done. Back on the home screen, you will see the newly created scene listed. Tap the icon for the scene to run it. The panel armed away, and the thermostat changed its cool set point to 80. You can also use Siri to run the scenes by launching Siri and saying the scene's name. Leave home. If you wish to control these devices remotely, either an iPad can be used as a hub if it's always left at home and connected to Wi-Fi, or an Apple TV fourth generation will be required. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching.